Hey guys, what's up? It's Bobby with Gilk Sports Cards. Hope you're having a fantastic day. As you can see in the background, we got our Christmas tree up and stockings and getting ready for the holidays. So happy holidays to you guys. Uh, I got here a 2023 Bowman Sapphire uh, Chrome uh, little hobby box. I'm excited to open that up. Um, I'm going to talk about it for just a couple minutes. So if you guys just want, if you guys don't want to be bored with me chatting about the product and the players, go ahead and fast forward to to the ripping, and hopefully I uh, hopefully I hit a banger. But real quick, just want to talk about the product real quick and the the strategy. So I bought it off Tops.com. It was two twenty five, and you got to pay taxes and all that. So living in California, it ended up being like two fifty four. It's pretty expensive. Um, and the game plan, quite honestly, was for me to sell it on eBay right away. And uh, they're going for between, like, right around 280, maybe all the way up to, to 300 max right now on eBay. But $300 is free shipping for most of those sales. So if you think about it, if I pay 255, then I got to pay the shipping. That's another 10 or 12. Then the eBay fees, you know, it's like 12, 15 percent, whatever it is. Like I'm making pennies and then the stress of actually sending out the i i get stressed sending out uh wax because you get you know the box would get dented or this or that or you know they could say they didn't receive it or whatnot so it just didn't seem like it's worth the trouble uh i could keep the box hold it hopefully you know hope some of these players turn out to be amazing and then sell it down the road but i watched a few boxes get opened it seemed like there's some pretty good value you know, a lot of good rookies in it. You know, it seems like they give you at least two or three colored, you know, parallels in it. So, you know what? Why not, guys? It's the holidays. Screw it. I'm just going to open it. Um, hopefully, I can, you know, at least get half or 75% of my money back. Worst case scenario, it'll be fun sending some cards in, hopefully for grading and see what those come out. So, that's what we're going to do. But real quick, I want to talk about the, the actual players. These are probably the five most hype players. It's not exactly in the order uh hopefully you can kind of see that but like arius on the bottom he's on the uh san francisco giants that's only 58 at bats in rookie ball 414 four home runs 21 rbis he's 17 years old that's pretty solid he's actually my favorite if i had a gun in my head and and had a guy that i want to hold it's actually him because that's a pretty amazing start Brandon Maia, he's a Yankee prospect outfielder. He's also in rookie ball. That's a full season, guys. 276, three home runs, 18 RBIs, 22 stolen bases. Like, he's playing against 18-year-olds just like him. And he only batted 276 with a couple home runs. Just, again, he can he can work out, get stronger. He could still be an amazing player, but that's just not impressive to me. Uh, Samuel Basalo is very impressive. Now, this is in double A, and he's 19 years old. 313, 20 home runs, 86 RBIs, 12 stolen bases. That's really impressive, guys. I really like him, but what scares me is right there, his position. Okay, and we're going to talk about another guy in a second. He's a catcher. Name a catcher in baseball right now that gets you excited. It's unfortunately our hobby does not give any love to catchers. Like Henry Davis was the last guy and he hasn't turned out to be great. And he really didn't have that much buzz like position players. So I just don't believe I want to invest in any type of catchers. Here's the funniest one, Felnin Celestin. He's a, a Seattle Mariner prospect, tons of hype. He's probably the second, second guy you want to get regarding value. He doesn't have an at-bat in the minor leagues yet. I couldn't figure out why I tried to Google it and whatnot. I'm not really sure. International prospect, obviously, one of the like, top five guys signed, but he hasn't played in the bat yet, and everyone's going nuts. Like, we have no idea how he's going to do in the United States, how he's going to do playing, you know, minor league baseball. And then finally, the big dog is Ethan Salas. Of all the hype he's getting, he batted 248, nine home runs, 41 RBIs, a couple stolen bases. But what's impressive with him, he's in double A and he's 17 years old. The youngest guy, I think, potentially ever to make the double A at that age. So, I mean, those are obviously pretty reasonable stats for a guy that is 17 years old playing with 23, 24-year-old guys that are, you know, ready to move up to the major leagues potentially. So that's impressive. But again, he's a catcher. Okay. 
and like the stats are fine, but he's a catcher, and I think the the hype will will come down. Um, and I think if you were to pull one of his cards right now, I think if you, if you sold it now, it will be more valuable than it will ever be. Like in a, a year or two, I I don't think Ethan Salas cards are you know nuts prices. It could be I've been wrong before. So here we go, guys. I'm excited. We are officially ripping this box. I'm gonna move this down a little bit. You guys have seen the, the, the Christmas tree come up here. I'm gonna be that guy. I know some people absolutely hate it. I don't get the opportunity to open up higher end products like this very much. If you guys uh, subscribe to the channel, you guys know we're kind of a retail family for the most part. So all of the hits, guys, I am going to save for the end. So I'm sorry about that. That's how we're going to do it. All right. We've got an orange already. I like that. James Altman, rookie, I like. We've got a prospect, or excuse me, a veteran, Alonzo. We're going to keep this orange for later. we got a first, and it's a Marlin, looks like. Ariel Castro. All right. Um... Good news because I've seen a bunch of boxes where the uh, centering isn't very good. This looks pretty good. That looks great, in fact. So keep our first here. Keep our rookies here. And we got an orange. I've seen probably 40% of the boxes have had uh, three parallels in it. So hopefully we get three. Seeger, another, this could be uh, Neto. Zach Neto, nicely centered. I like him, so I'm good with that. We got a first, and that's San Diego colors. Be a hat. We want to see a hat. No, that's that's the other. Oh, that's a pirate. That's the pirate. I've seen this before. Applause. All right. Here we go. We got a first on Cleveland, it looks like. Got someone at my door, of course. Benjamin. All right. My dog's upset. Here we go. All right, we got a rook. Oh, we got a teal here, so we'll keep that for the end. We got a first on the Mets. Gutierrez. Another first. Toronto. Bonilla, he's not a bad prospect. Okay, so we got a teal and an orange. There's actually somebody at my door, guys. Unbelievable the bad timing I have. I'm just not gonna get it. Oh well. Pagero rookie. That looks like Aaron Judge. Okay, so we haven't hit any of the top guys yet. There's a Marlin, Jacob Berry. He was in last year's tops uh, Bowman Chrome. People were excited about him. We got this is Harry Ford from Seattle. Oh, Gabriel Gonzalez, another prospect. So again, guys, no hits, no, no big stars yet. This one looks thick, but it's not. Vientos rookie. Jazz Chisholm, come on. Texas, maybe Josh Jung. Nope, Anthony Gutierrez, not who we wanted. We got a first, is that Boston? Brooks Brandon, he's not bad. Heard good things about him, we'll see though. All right, only have three packs left, hoping I haven't gotten a, one of the top rookies yet. Chris Bryant, oh, we did get three parallels though, guys. So we got a, a yellow, that's that's cool. We got one box and we got three parallels, so That's that's beautiful. Drew Gilbert, man, it's not his first, but he's a baller. Here's a first with a bat. I know Celestin has a bat. I want to see Seattle here. That's Tampa Bay. Miguel Tamarez. Okay. We got Rafael. Here's Moreno. That's a good rookie. And for Baltimore, first. Oh, De Los Santos. 
we uh, we we wanted our boy Basalo there, and another first for Colorado. He's a good one. Blaster more people like him. One more box. One more pack. So we got three parallels. That's it. We got Colorado. Nolan Jones rookie. Not terrible. And an Astro. Jacob Melton. Oh, here's a... Uh, I know this guy. He's a good prospect for the Dodgers. Can't think of his name. Vargas, yeah. So that's that's our best hit so far is Joendre Vargas. All right, guys. Let's go and get into our three hits. We got really nothing to show for so far. We got these three hits. All right. Our first teal is a prospect. It is not a first, unfortunately. Seattle, I think that's Gabriel Martinez. Or Gonzalez, excuse me. So Gabriel Gonzalez out of 99. Cool color. Good card. He's, you know, he's pretty good. Let's do this yellow. Come on, guys. I need something. It is not a first either, guys. Dang it. Boston. What, Brooks Bannon, maybe? Oh, Blaze Jordan. I'm a big Blaze Jordan fan, but obviously it's not his first. Not the, not the guy we want. But out of 50, cool card. And our final one, we absolutely need this to be an absolute banger to make our money back. That's for sure. And it has, it's not a first. It has to be a rookie. Kansas City. Oh, man. Drew Waters out of 75. So that's what could happen, guys. I had a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, got absolutely destroyed here. Did not get... Salas did not get Celestin, Basalo, Maia, Arias did not get Corbin Carroll. Uh, you know, didn't get any of the big rookies, but at least we got three colors. Had a chance, unfortunately, didn't get any first, but it was fun, guys. I took a shot. You got to do that every once in a while. Appreciate you. Have a great day, and we will see you on a video tomorrow, guys. Peace.